Hello, my name is Popcan, and today I'm going to show you how to overclock your laptop graphics card. Um, before I begin, I want to touch base on the whole myth about overclocking laptops equals blown up computer. That is not true. And in respect to desktops, it is the same thing. As long as you keep your heat within a reasonable level, it'll be fine. Um, this guide is also more for the beginner or someone who's just kind of refreshing on how to overclock, maybe hasn't done it in a while or something. This isn't advanced. I am not going to be going into overvolting or overclocking the processor. And the reason is overvolting is can be dangerous and should not be performed on somebody who's new to this subject. And the processor is so different with so many systems and so many BIOSes and so many laptop vendors, Dell, HP, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to get into it. It's more of a specific, specific um, computer. You know, there are forms for OS laptops. So I'm not going to get into those. All right, let's begin. The first thing you're going to want to do is download your latest drivers for your vendor, either NVIDIA or AMD. I'm not going to get into Intel because there's really not a whole lot you can do with um, integrated cards in you know in respect to intel um you can still overclock a lot of um integrated uh, nvidia cards or amd cards no it's not going to blow up your computer um the program i want to talk to you first about is um cpu id there are really only two temperatures you need to or two components you need to keep your eye on that is the processor and the graphics card um, you can get this. I'll have a link in the description below for all of these. Um, right here, you can get either the executable or the zip file. Um, if you don't know what a zip file is, don't worry about it. Get the executable. You'll be good to go. Good to go. All right. Um, the reason why you want to keep an eye on the processor, even though we're not overclocking it, is because in order to save weight, cut down on cost, blah, 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 the um, vendors will use a single heat pipe for both the graphics card and the processor, which is really a terrible, terrible um, way to do it in reality, because when one, when the heat of one increases, it increases the heat of the other. It isn't good. And in this case, my graphics card actually stays very cool. But when I overclock it, it increases the the heat on the CPU, which normally wouldn't be there. So you got to make sure you keep all this under 90 Celsius. Um, the comfortable level for me is about 80, but I will not let anything go over 90. And in that respect, I've never had one die. So it seems to work for me. Um, after you have that, you want to go and get MSI Afterburner. Again, I'll have a link in the description below. And you'll get this file. And you can either open this with 7-zip, which you can Google that, um, or you can use WinRAR. I'm using WinRAR because I'm a boss. Just kidding. I don't talk like that. Um, <laughs> so don't worry about Combuster. Get uh, Afterburner, double click on it, extract it, whatever you want to do. And after it installs, hit yes, do all that. Um, right click on it when it appears on your desktop. Go to open file location. MSI Afterburner, the top one up here. Should be the top one. Whoa. Um, my uh, screen capture software just had a hiccup there for some reason. Scroll all the way down to the bottom, and right here, this is going to be blank, and this is going to be a zero. What you're going to want to do is put a one, come down, erase a zero, and put a one. Hit close, hit save. You're good to go. Close this. Um, one problem you can run into if you forgot that step and you ran it and then we're like, oh, I need to do that. And you come back and you open it and you go to do it. It might say something like unable to make an adjustment to this file. It's in use. Some to that. An easy fix is to copy this, paste it outside of, um, you know, on your desktop or something, then edit it and then put it back in. It'll ask you, ask if you want to, um, Replace all the one hit yes, and it's just an easy fix. Once you do this, you don't have to worry about it again. Hit close. All right. With this open, you want to run MSI Afterburner. Um, it does have a 
uh, sensor to for the um, graphics card, but again, you want to keep an eye on your CPU, so I keep this open. Um, my clocks are good. So this is what it'll look like when you first start it up. It'll say zero, zero. Um, don't worry about your fan speed. It should be set to auto. Um, if you have an older video card, you'll have an extra clock setting for your shaders. It's the, the it's, it's the same thing for um, everything. It's just one extra step that you that you have to do. Um, see over here, we have the uh, temperature. We have the GPU usage and percentage. Right now, I have um, an Intel card, and I have the GeForce card. And um, when I'm running games, it kicks on the GeForce card. Blah blah blah. Um, so mine's gonna say zero. Yours will probably yours will probably say something else whatever not important um, go over here and this is your core clock this is the one that does all the work this is the processor on the the graphics card and then you come down here this is the memory clock this is the same as memory on your um, your motherboard that your processor talks to your graphics card talks to this one and um, the faster this is, the faster it can load um, data onto the RAM and, you know, it can give you a performance boost. So what we want to do is you want to load up your favorite game. I recommend Battlefield 3 because it's pretty intense. And um, what you want to do is hit your tally key. If you don't know what that is, Google it. Type in render dot draw FPS space 1. And that is going to bring up um, your frame rates per second counter at the top right. And right now I'm getting, you know, 33, 24. And it's so low because I'm, I'm recording this too. So hopefully you'll you'll be better. <clears throat> you won't be so low. 30 really is the, lim the, the minimum you want to do. 25 is playable for some people, but really 30 is the limit. You don't want to go any lower than that. And this will help. Um, with this laptop, excuse me, I have managed to get a 33% increase in performance, and that, that's actually pretty decent for, for a computer like this. So, your mileage may vary. So what we're going to do is going to Alt-Tab back to MSI Afterburner, and we're going to go, we're going to go in uh, order, core clock, raise it 10, hit apply, go back to Battlefield. Play around, shoot some stuff, you know, have fun. I, I wouldn't play this online while you're trying to do this, because you might ruin your score. You know, I'm playing the campaign. After a few minutes, everything's going fine. No graphical glitches. Um, if you don't know what a graphical glitch is, I would Google it and look up some videos. Um, it's kind of stuff popping out of the walls, weird textures, um, stuff to that. You'll, you'll know what an artifact is because it shouldn't be there, and you know it shouldn't be there. So, no artifacts, everything's fine. Yay. So we go back to MSI Afterburner. Raises another 10 points. And you, you repeat this process until you're playing around and you get an artifact. And you're like, oh, you know, you don't want to crash your drivers or anything. And sometimes raising it so much will, you won't get artifacts, you'll just crash your drivers. And in that case, you want to back off a few points. You know, I, I usually back off 20, 20 or so. Um, you know, after you find your limit here, you come down to memory. And you increase it 10 points. Hit apply. Go back and play around. And you do this until you find you know the threshold for your memory too. Um, make sure while you're doing this, you're always keeping an eye on your temperatures. See, just um, you know, just doing that a little bit, my processor is at 78. When I overclock, this hits 83 though. So, you know, like I said before, below 90, you're fine. Same thing with your graphics card. Um also, if you have um, shader cores, same thing applies. You um, you raise it 10 points until you hit your threshold. Um, watch your temps. Um, after you find your threshold, um, try another game. Um, uh, different games will test your system differently. Skyrim seems to be um, harder on the RAM. Um... That's just a feeling I get. I have no um, proof to back that up. Um, 
So you might need to lower your memory clocks. Clocks that's usually what I need to do. Um, you know, just play with it. Some people make profiles for the video games. So this, you know, Battlefield 3 might be able to have a higher clock than Skyrim. Um, Skyrim might need a lower memory clock. Um, I don't play that game. I have a set um, clock rate for all my games. I actually um, apply overclock when my system starts up. So I get the, the maximum for all games. Whether it be Skyrim, Battlefield 3, StarCraft 2, etc. So yeah. Um, let me minimize this. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment or leave me a message. I'll try and get back to you. Um, hopefully, this is the first of many YouTube videos to come. I really want to help you guys and give back to the gaming community a little bit. Um, here is a great place to go for questions and information, techsyndicate.com. They also have a YouTube channel, also great. Go ahead and make a profile, ask some questions, get involved in the community. Everybody's real friendly, friendly real nice. Um, and say hi to me if you, if you see me around. All right? Have a good one.